episode 7 of Talking Politics here at The Hindu with Nistula Hepbar, where we unpack the news making the headlines in domestic politics. This week too, we continue with unpacking the assembly results uh, in four states and one union territory that concluded on May 2nd. The Congress party convened a meeting of its working committee after a significant electoral bruising in these elections. Uh, it lost its government in Puducherry. Uh, it could not defeat its uh, rivals in Assam and Kerala, where it was the main oppositional force. It couldn't open uh, its account in West Bengal, possibly the first time that it has happened in the party's history. The only note of cheer for the party was to come to power in Tamil Nadu, albeit as a junior partner of the alliance with the Dravida Munnetra Karadam. The big issue with regard to this particular CWC meet was to set the electoral calendar for electing the new president for the Congress party. Now, uh, Sonia Gandhi is the working president of the Congress party after the resignation of Wayanad MP Rahul Gandhi when the party lost quite badly uh, in the 2019 uh, general elections. Since then, Mrs. Gandhi has been at the helm of affairs. Now, last year, uh, a group of senior leaders in the party, uh, 23 signatories in all, sent a letter to Mrs. Gandhi saying that uh, the question of leadership needed to be resolved. Uh, immediately, there seemed to be <clears throat> a line drawn between what was seen as the old Congress of older leaders and Rahul Gandhi's own set of people, or in, uh, to stretch it a little bit, of people who uh, were Gandhi seen as Gandhi family loyalists and others who wanted to resolve the question of leadership, whether in favor of a Gandhi or a non-Gandhi. This was therefore not going to be a very easy uh, CWC meet uh, to helm, but uh, Congress President uh, Sonia Gandhi managed it with her characteristic aplomb. A lot of plain speaking went on within the committee meeting, uh, when, especially when a post-mortem was attempted of the assembly losses. Um, there were a lot of questions raised by senior members, uh, including Mr. Gulam Nabi Azad, as to uh, the logic behind certain alliances that had been entered into in West Bengal and in Assam, and of course the debacle in Kerala. Uh, what resulted were two committees, uh, one with regard to going into the reasons uh, for the defeat and the poor performance in the assembly elections. Uh, this was to be headed by former Maharashtra Chief Minister Ashok Chavan and includes uh, one of the G23 signatories, Mr. Un former Union Minister uh, Manish Tiwari. Uh, and the second committee uh, was with regard to the relief work to be done or overseen uh, for the second wave of COVID-19, which has hit India very badly, and uh, where the Congress has managed to garner much goodwill due to the work of the Indian Youth Congress President Srinivas Bivi. Now, there have been uh, committees uh, which have been set up before within the Congress, uh, some have uh, been buried, uh, others have never been talked about after that. Uh, the Anthony Committee report of 2014 set up to go into the reasons for the defeat of the party in 2014 and the, and the, and the scale of the defeat of 2014 came and went. And I doubt whether anybody other than the Congress president and the writer of the report really know what that report contains. Uh, late uh, president of India, Mr. Pranam Mukherjee, had done a report in 2007 when the UPA was in power, led by the Congress party, and that talked about extensive organizational reforms to be done in order to uh, keep the Congress uh, viable on the electoral front. All of these have come and gone. Uh, so therefore, the founding or the setting up of a committee uh, as such uh, is not the important point in what happened uh, last week. Uh, the composition of the committee is important. Uh, the COVID committee was being headed by Mr. Azad. Uh, Mr. Manish Tiwari found his way into the committee for going into the reasons for the assembly defeat. Uh, and these are people who are signatories to the letter, the G23. And therefore, there seems to be some attempt being made for a rapprochement uh, with regard to uh, the Congress party. But the question of resolving the leadership uh, of who will be leading the Congress party, whether there will be an electoral uh, calendar set up and what would be the mode of all of that, has been pushed to the background. Uh, so therefore, when it comes to the Congress party, we are at a halfway house at the moment with the elephant in the room, that of resolving the leadership issue, which hasn't been addressed yet. We will be uh, carefully tracking this story as and when it surfaces. And I'll see you next week with something else that is ratcheting up the headlines. Goodbye.